chow chin chow, Santa and Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Jade Trial Run. In the last episode, we made it right here to Everwind Village and we took on Ying and Yang, the construction brothers, who um, did not want to work during the day. They wanted to work at night to re expand the village. We told them where to go. We told them that they do the work in the, the daytime or not at all. And today, we are going to be taking on Sinclair and getting our 8th and final gym badge. Now, uh, if you haven't noticed already, I'm wearing a suit and tie. I was meant to have a job interview today. I did not have a job interview today. I got all dressed up, ready to go to a job interview. Doing all the other stuff. I never got sent the invite over my uh, over Teams for the job interview. I emailed the people who was I was supposed to have a job interview back with, saying like, "Where's my Teams invite?" I said it in nicer words than that, obviously, because I want the job. But um, they emailed me back saying I didn't confirm they want. I didn't confirm that that uh, that the time was okay. They never asked me to confirm. In the original email, they never asked me if this if this time is okay. Please reply with the uh, to the email. They never asked for that. Now I'm sure it was just a mistake and you know stuff. So I'm not upset. I'm just disappointed. Uh, the interview is being rescheduled as we speak and. I'll probably have it sometime, um, probably either still in this week, still today, or possibly sometime next week, probably. So it'll probably still, it'll still happen. It's just that I got all dressed up for nothing, really. So I thought I might as well just keep the suit on, you know, and record an episode of Pokemon Jade because I was going to record a Pokemon I was going to record a Pokemon Jade anyway after the interview regardless of whether I got the job or not so I thought to myself what's the point in getting on you know getting all these nice clothes taking all the nice clothes off and uh, just doing it in my regular uh, doing the video in my regular attire but I just wear jeans and a t-shirt for uh, when I could just record in a suit and tie this is the one episode you get to see me in a suit and tie. Unless you would like to see it more often than I could possibly do it. If if you would like it, you know, we could do that for like finale episodes uh, or start and start a new series. I get dressed up in a suit and tie. Let me know in the comment section down below if that's something you'd want. Or tweet me at Lantern Joe on Twitter telling me that's what you'd want. You know? Because I'll do it. I don't mind doing it. I look I look good in the suit and tie, don't you think? It's just that, uh, you know, I don't really need to be in a suit and tie, that's all. But yeah, I could definitely do it. There's nothing in that bin. So much so it doesn't even notify that there's a bin there. Hey y'all, look at this. I can see my own breath. Okay. On, top, on the topic of hand, this is Everwood Village Gym. This is the final gym in all of Arrow. This village is so small despite its uh, moniker. There's a lot of areas. Uh, there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of areas and a lot going on. Same to be said with uh, Sinclair's strategy. She's the leader. He she's the leader here, spotting, uh, sporting the ice type. If you haven't already guessed it, ice is weak to rock, steel, and fire. Uh, and fire. Don't forget, fire is also weak to fire. What? Her strategy? Oh yeah, uh, I didn't mention that. Uh, did I? Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of go. There's a lot going on. Most of her Pokemon have special items. On that topic, she uses snowy weather to her advantage. 
as uh, some of her Pokemon have the ability and that power to power themselves up in hail. Okay, that's all I got. There's not much to this uh, puzzle here. Just find the right path Earth to the gym leader. Here, I got something for you. Fresh water. Good luck, my friend. All right, cool. We are ready to go on with this gym. By the way, uh, on next... Um, I'm just going to come out and say this. Our next trial run is going to be an, is going to be a Lantern Joe first for me. Basically, what I mean by this is, uh, for the first time ever, I am actually going to do a Nuzlocke of uh, the next game I'm going to trial run. It, instead of doing a trial run it, with the uh, potential of doing a Nuzlocke of that game at a later date, we're just going to go ahead and do a Nuzlocke of the game that we're going to do next. Okay. The game is uh, the game we'll be doing next is full. I think it's fully complete, so we'll be able to do it. I think it's called Pokemon Infinite or something like that. So we'll be looking at that. Uh, not Infinite Fusion. That game is awful. We will not be looking at Infinite F Fusion. I've I've played a lot of it, and base. I, well, I haven't played a lot of it, but like I've played a bit of it, and I've seen a lot of LPs of it. It's basically you just mesh two Pokemon, you just mesh two Pokemon together uh, using fan, uh, using Photoshop in order to um, in order to make a new Pokemon. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look right. You know, you get the head of one Pokemon and the body of another Pokemon, and that's your game. That doesn't seem that doesn't seem like good. If you merge the two Pokemon together properly, that would be that would be amazing. And there's definitely Pokemon sprite artists out there on the world of Twitter. You could hire to do that, but they didn't do that. So I do not want to play Pokemon Infinite Fusion. But Pokemon Infinite is another game, and it does look rather interesting. I was also just suggested to play Pokemon Angels. But I don't think that game looks as good, so I will probably not be picking, uh, not be playing that one. So we'll we'll look into playing Pokemon Infinite in the next few uh, as our next LP on the channel. So that's what we're playing in next, and it will be a Lantern Joe first of a live Nuzlocke. So that should be rather fun, actually. I'm looking forward to it. We are also going to be doing. I'm just going to mention this right now. Uh, Pokemon Royal version. I would like to play this game as a Wonderlock. Because the uh, version 4.0 has just come out. Actually, version 4.2 has just come out. And basically, in that version, uh, there is the ability to Wonder Trade. So... If we complete... If we finish the Pokemon Platinum Yes Lock that we are doing as our main series on the channel, that series, uh, uh, that is what we will be doing next on the channel. We will be doing a Pokemon Royal Version Wonder Lock. Should be rather fun. I'm excited for it. But Pokemon Royal Version is a really good game. I really enjoyed playing. I really enjoyed my time playing it. So... I think it would be awesome to uh, play as an actual series on the channel. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. Are you excited to play Pokemon Royal? Uh, are you excited to see Pokemon Royal version get uh, its uh, get its Let's Play? You know, get its no slot treatment. Let me know in the comment section down below because I am excited to really. He got a crit. You got a critical hit, Bug Buzz. Yeah, I'm. Ex I'll be. Ex I'm excited to bring it to you guys. So that is something we're doing as our next series on the channel after our Pokemon Nuzlocke. Uh, after our Pokemon Platinum Yes Lock, we will be doing Pokemon Royal version as a series on the channel where we do it as a Wonder Lock because Wonder Trades are in. Also, Mega Evolution is a thing in this game too. So that's really cool, and I can't wait to try and maybe bring that to you in some you know add that to the series as well 
we'll bring that to you in some way. I don't know exactly how we bring that uh, part of the series to you guys, but I'd like to do that. So we'll do that as well. Also, there's plenty of ideas of what we can do for Pokemon uh, for our next series on the channel. I was going to play Pokemon... Uh, what's going to play? Region Adventures, but I think we can wait till a later date on that one. Uh, so we'll wait till a later date on that one. But like, if the game's still good, do go do go and play Reach on Adventures. It is sort of the third part of, uh, of a series that we played on the channel uh, before. We played Pokemon Brown, a uh, really good series. We played Pokemon uh, Prism, really good game. Uh, both made by cool, uh, both made by Cool Boy Man, and they were really good games. Uh, this is the technically the third game in that series. So that it's technically the third game in the series. It's not really because it's technically kind of a remake of the first. It's technically kind of a remake of Pokemon uh, Brown version, but it is sort of set after the events of Prism. So in that. Uh, that way inclined it is also a re it is also a sequel to Pokemon Brown because Pokemon Brown was set before Prism. I know it sounds complicated, but you know you get it. Hopefully, you get what I'm trying to get at. Hopefully, I keep on forgetting Joffloff has Crunch because I keep on switching in Krusty on Joffloff and well Krusty almost gets killed each and every time he comes in on a Joffloff. He's able to one-shot Joffloffs, don't get me wrong, he's able to one-shot Joffloffs but he almost gets killed by Joffloffs. Uh, is there any way to get to that trainer? I think that's how you do it. There you go. There you go. That's how you get to this trainer. And you have a Joffloff. I probably should go and heal. Uh, yeah, I probably should go and heal before we go... Uh, before we face... Uh, uh, we go and face Sinclair. Because otherwise I'm going to be out of PP, but... Is that the bug one? Yeah, that's the bug. Don't like the quiver dance. Really don't like the quiver dance. I got the burn. I got the burn with scold. And another scold should kill, but there's the... I live the Aurora Beam. All right, cool. The burn kills. Okay. It's dead is dead. It's fine. There we go. Right. Let's go and heal. I'm not sure how to do that exactly, but we should probably uh, do exactly that. There we go. I figured I found my way out of the gym. I found my way out of the gym. I found my way back to the Pokemon Center. Heal me, Nurse Joy, and be quick about it, because we've got a gym battle to get to. There's a plane going outside my house, and it's annoying. It's annoying. Shush plane. Shush plane. Shush plane. It's like some people don't have respect for the poke uh, for the Pokemon YouTube community, or they don't uh, they won't respect Lantern Joe. <laughs> yeah, it's probably that. It's not that they don't respect the Pokemon YouTube community; it's that they just don't respect Lantern Joe. I'm going to save the game. Joe, the moment she has finally arrived. Welcome to my gym. It's spectacular, huh? I feel 
like it's a good symbol of Isla Valley. I hope you think so too. In the short time we've known each other, you've helped me a lot. That uh, isn't lost on me one bit. You've already made a mark on this place, and for that, I thank you dearly. But this, uh, don't think because of that, your, uh, or because of your cuteness, I'll go easy on you. Prepare to feel the power of Isla Vary's fearsome ice type Pokemon. Let's do this, Sinclair. And maybe after we've done, uh, maybe after we've done this, you can give me your phone number. But like, first off, let's do this. Now, first off, let's actually have a gym battle. Then you can give me your phone number after we've had a gym battle. Oh, wow! You restore on half. I do a dazzling gleam to you. You go down to about. I probably shouldn't have grinded. I'm realizing that now because I, I grinded right after the eighth, uh, right after facing the seventh gym. I got everyone to level fifty, and uh, and that was right before the seventh gym. And since then, I've sort of just been facing trainers. On my way to, uh, you know, uh, on my way here. And that's why we are level 53, level 55 and stuff like that. With uh, level 53, level 55, level 56 with Krusty and stuff like that. So that's just been regular gym fights. Uh, you know, regular trainer fights. I'm not, o I'm not over leveled. I'm just leveled up because they gave me gym fights. It, you know, they gave me trainers to fight and... Uh, I've been fighting practically every one of them. I, even ones that I wasn't meant, you know, even ones that like turned, I still went and fought them because, well, I might as well. I did it off screen, obviously, most of the time. But I did it. Oh, wait, you're that water to You're the water Pokemon. God damn it, Joe. Uh, what do I do in this situation? I think I'm bringing Maple. I know Maple's weak to ice, but I could see bomb, and I'm pretty sure I outspeed. Because Maple's nimble. So this should do a lot. This should do damage. Doesn't kill. Great, and that's probably Maple dead, but he's four times weak. Yep. That's a crit! I Meaning it was possibly Maple might have lived? I don't know. I guess we'll never know now. We'll go into Krusty and we'll go for the Thunderbolt. There we go. To finish off the job, but still. Maple could Maple might have lived. That's what that means. Maple might have lived. You don't know. We'll never know. Ice Fang. Okay, I can handle that. I mean, that's not very effective on me. It's not probably what you should have done. But Flamethrower will kill. And that's Sinclair dead. Oh, well. Sinclair's team dead. Not Sinclair herself. You glimmer in more ways than just helping others. How exciting was that? I felt... I certainly think you lived up to my expectations. You weren't this here. You received the Valley Badge. And Sinclair's phone number? And Sinclair's phone number? I'd also like to share this TM with you. Uh, it's one of my inaugural... It's part of my inaugural strategy. TM07 for Hail. Hail sets up the stage for all Ice-type Pokemon to shine. And Pokemon who can't stand the cold get hurt. Well, Joe, I think it's time for us to say goodbye. You're always welcome here in Isla Valley. Never forget that. However, judging uh, by your skill and passion, I'm sure 
But you are qualified. Oh, well, uh, you're certainly a pos uh, p uh, positive take uh, positively take on the Elite Four at Mount Opera. Oh, you must. I'm sure uh, I'll be uh, uh, seeing you very soon again, cutie. Good luck. Thank you, Sinclair. I would have wished I could have had your phone number, but you didn't give me the phone number. Ah. Oh. Sad face, ladies and gentlemen. Our character didn't get a phone number for Sinclair, despite the fact she keeps on calling us cutie. Hey, it's Professor Spruce. Wow, eight badges already? You've done it. Chips uh, got uh, uh, their final badge a couple of days ago. Last I checked, they were surfing to Route 22 to get to Mount Opera. Uh, they want to challenge the Pokemon League. I feel like you may want to follow in their footsteps. If you didn't already know, you can reach uh, Route 22 from uh, from your very own Buccaneer Town. Uh, Barricada Town. I guess it, I'll be seeing you soon then. Yep, I guess I'll be seeing you as soon as I heal up my Pokemon. Because it's time to take on them. Well, it's time to head towards the league. We're not going to be doing it today, obviously. But, like... Expect the rest of this week's episodes to be about heading towards the league. And then... Next week's episodes will be... Well... All about taking on the league. Probably next Wednesday's episode, we'll probably actually take on the league. You know, start our uh, taking on the league with the first two members of the Elite Four, the second two members of the Elite Four in Friday's episode, and then the final, final match on Sunday. So that's probably... And if there's any after game, we'll do it then as well. Okay? That's probably how we'll do it. The lake where we got our starters is how we get to the Pokemon League. There's also encounters in this lake too. We can find Trippish. Cool. There's no special way up here. Oh, I thought there might be a secret trying to uh, revealing a TM or something like that, or a hidden item. There's also waybills here, so Donald's uh, Donald's still here, but we already have Donald, so we don't really need another Donald. And uh, you know what? It's it's repel time. Where's my repels? There. There's my max repels. They'll do. Let's go this way to the Pokemon League. So we go the long, sort of the scenic route round Barracuda Town towards the Pokemon League. There's our entrance towards Route 22. There we go. Route 22! Water types rule! I'm sure they do. Swim Wait, your your name, your name is Swimmer Knob. I'm probably going to get I'm, my video is going to uh, for me saying your name. I've just probably just uh, typecast this video so that way maybe you know people uh, suppressed my own video so that way people won't see it now because I said your name. Whoops. Game? Why did you call... Why did he have to be called that? Just want to ask, why did he have to be called that? Because, technically, uh, you've just suppressed my video. Unless YouTube's not listening to me. It might not be meant... It might not be listening to me. 
I mean, I try not to mention the current uh, environment that the world is in right now. I just refer to it as the dark times. I don't think the YouTube, uh, the YouTube bots that listen for the the actual word have actually uh, decided to suppress my channel as of yet because well they're looking for the actual word and not uh, someone saying the dark times we all know what i mean but apparently knowing what i mean isn't enough for them to suppress me i'm glad about that though <laughs> i don't want you to i don't want youtube to suppress my videos Thanks, Tasmission, for coming in here and dealing with this. Krusty got beat. Uh, Krusty got beaten up a bit. We'll beat up this girl and uh, this uh, guy right here, and then we'll end off today's episode there. Dora is not the appropriate Pokemon to take on a Quinala. Actually, you're not the... Krusty is the appropriate Pokemon to take on Quinlala, but Krusty is not available for me to take on Quinlala with. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get my team wiped here. Visual Water Poison type. I have not very really much... To, I guess maybe Earthquake? Transmission? Thank you. Nice work, Taz Mission. Uh, we'll battle you. You're the last trainer of this video. Be proud. I mean, I have nothing for you since you have an ice type. You have a water and ice type. I mean, I could... I could just heal up Krusty, I guess. But where's the fun in that? I'm doing I'm doing decent damage with uh, Dazzling Gleam, so it's gonna kill. Level fifty six for Dora, not bad. Plants off is I mean that's that Donald face Donald. Oh, wait, that's Donald's pre-evolution. Okay, it's Donald versus Baby Donald. Yeah, it's Donald versus Baby Donald. Baby Donald decides to use Curse, and I'm not sure I like Baby Donald using Curse. Come on, Donald. There we go. Good work, Donald. And an if... Oh, this is the evolved form of, of... Tribish. Okay. Your Gallant. Well, if I can keep on rock climbing, you should die, right? There we go. Good work, Donald! You know what? We'll battle you and get this item as well. You're right here. Let's battle this person. Let's battle this person, get this item, and then we'll end off today's episode there. She has one Pokemon. It's fine. She actually has Donald. So, this is fine. We'll face... We'll face Donald. You have Double Edge? Ow! That was a crit! And they go to sleep because you yawned me. If you heal, I'm going to be annoyed. Because now I have to go into my own Donald. I thought you... I almost thought you died to recall there, but... I guess not. Somehow you lived re uh, somehow you lived recall. Anyway, let's uh, see what this item is here. It's an Ultra Ball. Okie 
Doki. So that's where I'm going to end off today's episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Join us next time when we will be taking, uh, we'll be heading uh, towards Route 22 and the Pokemon League. So we'll head towards Flygon Bay uh, and, uh, on Friday and go through Victory Road. Probably uh, see how long it takes to go through Victory Road on collection of Friday and Sunday's videos. Because we don't know, I don't know how big Victory Road is going to be. Sometimes Victory Road is quick, like it is in Johto, where it's all where it takes all of five minutes to get through because there's no trainers and there's not really that many puzzles or anything like that. But um, other times it can be a bit annoying. So we'll honestly see what Victory Road has in store for us. Um next time. But until next time, I'm Lantern Joe. Mean to the Pokemon get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. You can also check out these two videos in the top right and top left hand corner. And don't forget to check out Power Zone Metal. It's a weekly radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe, and I will see you next time.